Joseph Joester. Nice. So this is a Patreon request from Dave over on Patreon. So let's give this a go. I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast for you. Center point of my page is about here. We're going to come up. His head is in the top half of my page. And we're going to start with his, the right eye, his left eye on the right of our page. Typical sort of Jojo eyes. So we go diagonal, flat across, and then diagonal down, right? You want to thicken it up a little bit. Does he normally have like eyelashes actually? I want to check that. So I tell you, let's sort of spike this out at the end a little bit and add another one here. Right, and then the bottom eyelid line. So we'll go down. Down like so. And it's kind of thicker on this end, I think. Then the iris circle coming down from the top eyelid line. Like so. And pupil quite thin. Quite thin. And the neck small. It's over there in the middle. Eyebrow then, real big, flat here, and then it curves up around this way. Goes underneath his hair on this side, so we'll just like kind of, I think it like joins his hair, but we'll go like square end, and then down this way. And then we got some eyelid lines and stuff inside here. lines underneath his eye, that side. Okay, so he's going nice, right? So he's got like one big eye and once like this is this eye is like wider, right? And you're about eye width across. Right, so basically like this width kind of fits in between both eyes. It's it's tight, but it, that's kind of the way it is. All right, so see like there to there will fit in between. And then this comes across, down, kind of hooks out the back, and you thicken it up a bit. And then the bottom eyelid comes down and up. So you see like this is kind of slightly wider than this one, like the distance from here to here. And then iris, curve it around here and the pupil. Try and keep your pupils the same size. You don't have one big and one small because it makes makes the character look like they're crazy or like on something. <laughs> so the eyebrow then. Just here comes across the top of the eye. It goes underneath the hair again. But say if it wasn't, we just draw it in like this. Like so. And then some eyelid lines. Like that. So he's frowning pretty heavily, right? So there's these frown lines just here. And then the nose comes down from there, pretty straight. Bends around the tip of the nose and goes back up the other side in Jojo. And then they do hatching on these noses on the top. So his nose then is drawn in a little bit more on the bottom, like so. 
and then you have a nostril here and then this like that and then like it looks like a line sort of here and there Right, that's how they draw his nose. A big grin. So top line of his mouth curves across like so. And then we open up the bottom of it there. It curves around this side. And then across the bottom. You see some teeth lines inside. something else here just a little bit and they draw in his top lip too so it like goes up down in the middle back up we're in three quarter pose a little bit here so this, that's why this half of his lip is going to be smaller than this side about half the size of it and so when you're in three quarter to make it look like it's in three quarter you want to make this side so this is like the center line of his head so see like this side will be bigger than this side same for the mouth and then his bottom lip. And they do these hooks, lines, like these little shadows. Like that. And then his chin real square. Like so. And like roughly, human proportion, eyes to nostrils, about the same as nostril to chin. So like bottom of the nose, say here. And here would be about the same. Like the top of the eye, sometimes the middle, there's a bit of wiggle room, depends if the head is tilted. But here and here are roughly the same. Right? And say nostril to the bottom lip here, it's about the same as bottom lip to the chin. So here and here are roughly the same. Like the mouth is open, so you're going for sort of this line. That and that are about the same. Okay? Then so jaw. Up the side, change direction about mouth level, so diagonally here, underneath the corner of the eye, and across in the mouth, change your direction, go up the side of the face. So as I said, we're in three quarters, so that means we can see like cheek on this side, not jawbone. So it curves in and out first around the cheek, up to the eye, and then connects with the eyebrow. So see that again? So curves in, so from this one goes kind of straight and up. This curves in and then out around the cheek, into the corner of the eye, and then out to the eyebrow. Subtle sort of curves here. And then in Jojo, we've got the Jojo face lines. Cheekbone lines or something. Like so. So then he has his sideburns just above the jaw, leave a bit of a gap. Got sideburn here. That's like all spiky hair. And again, it like I think it goes over his eyebrow. Looks like it does anyway. And then his fringe comes across. Right, so lots of this. fringe lines coming across his forehead and they kind of spike what way so we got another one here and they go up and then they've what the is that called? I think it's like here and then spike in there sticking up sort of on his forehead and then he's got like the big hair that comes out from the side of his face so we've got a line there and then all these hair spikes out and around kind of like a pineapple on that side and we can just see his ear in between here 
and we've got some all they do for the year is like this these two lines like that and the ear on this side is here and again they don't do much that's about it for ears and then a couple more sort of little hair spikes there and then coming out this way And then down the back of his neck, more hair spikes. So he's got kind of a mullet going on. Like that. Now, so two fists, right? Sort of crossing one another. So. So like, that's the easiest way. So like right under the chin, right? We got his thumb. So it's just this curved sort of area, right like that. And he's got fingerless gloves on. So we've got another shape like that again. Right, so just two of those same lines, right? And then there's a fold for the thumb here. And then this will go down for his hand down this way. Right. And then you kind of do that again for his index finger. It's bent over here again. So you do the curved lines around for the knuckle. Like so. And then another one here for his, so thumb, index, which one? Middle, ring finger, pinky. Up and down, up and down, right? And then the back of the hand that goes down here. And this goes behind his arm, which comes up this way. All right, so there's all details on these gloves, but we'll just get his like main shapes in first. So we've got a curved line there. And then we bump out for the glove, bump again, and then up. All right, and the other side of his forearm is here. Bottom of the glove comes across. And up for the wrist. He's got a strap on this wrist, right? So it like sticks out here. Flicks out. Back around. Into there. And we give it an edge. It goes around the back of his wrist. Like that. So like a leather glove. And another fist pretty similar to this one well, it bumps out a little bit here and here and then the back of it curves up so we're going like this now all right so that's the back and then the thumb again sticks out here fingerless gloves on top all right and then pinky ring finger, middle finger, and then the index finger sticks up higher. So again, there's a fingerless glove on this one here. I right, have a little skin fold, like that. So then on both of these gloves, he's got these like knuckle guards, these circles, at least that's what I think they are, on each knuckle like that we do that on this as well and then the hand finger comes down that way fold line down there and then the glove has lines on it like so like that Maybe see some. Can we see some skin? Maybe this goes this way a little bit. So that's like skin, and then a little bit of skin there as well. And then glove lines, knuckle lines, like that, right? And that's. I think that's all they draw, sort of, for his glove. 
and his hands. So hands are tricky, so pause that and try and do your best to get them in the right position. So now, to make this kind of look like they're not just like floating arms and stuff, there's more lines here, sorry, forearm lines. So to make it look like they're not uh, floating arms and they're attached to his body, we will go down this way for his shoulder. And his sleeves are kind of rolled up onto his shoulder, right? So it goes that way. And then his shoulder muscles, kind of bony. Bump in there. And then it curves down. There's a bit of an edge line on his sleeve. And then his shoulder muscles go down there with some hatching. Is that his bicep? Yeah, so that bicep has to go down, touch his elbow, and then go back up. So I'd say that's like just drawn in shoulder muscle there. And then in here, we've got all details for his collar and his neck and stuff, right? So the collar of his shirt goes down behind the thumb. To there, neck muscles, Adam's apple, like so, and then collar, another line for that there, and then collarbone, like our chest muscle sort of area here. Then what we can see of the shoulder on the other side just comes down this way. And like some anatomy lines here, so his forearm will come across underneath this one. There. And that's his shoulder. Okay. Is that everything? Do, do, do. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. I think that's it. Joseph, Joe Star from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the OG. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.